Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Joanne Strauss is the ultimate career woman, blessed with business brains and stunning looks. Jet setting and board meetings are all in a day's work. After sashaying into our hearts as Miss South Africa back in 2000, she's since gone on to conquer the media industry and bring two gorgeous babies into the world in her spare time. Joanne Strauss, welcome back to The Loft. <laughs> what an introduction. I feel like I should be I wearing know. a cape. And it's definitely not that way. So, yeah, thanks, Jeans. So, the last time we interviewed you here in the loft you were pregnant with mm -hmm. your second little bambina yes, yes. and now she's she's a gorgeous little child she's the second one child. too i don't think she's peed on me yet no she hasn't no no, no. <laughs> our, our son anointed you of course and our daughter is yet to 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 yes. yeah to to draw you into her inner circle but i mean she's amazing you you had a chance to meet her yes. and yeah, it's been amazing to just experience motherhood now as a mom of two. So I might, I must admit that I'm quite keen to have more. Even I'm thinking it's it's quite addictive this kitty thing. Yeah, yeah. and you you handle it so well. You yeah, make it look yeah. easy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got help. My mom is around, and I've got a wonderful nanny. So yeah. I do have help. But motherhood also never looked so chic until you you started your modern mommy blog. You know, jeans. I think it's one of those things. For me, it's always been yes, motherhood is wonderful, but it's part of who you are. And I think yeah. I'm not saying that I run around at home in heels and you know by no means I'm actually running around at home that is a lie no, I see you at home and you really were running around in heels <laughs> well yeah I was probably coming from work or something like that but for me it's also one of those things there's so many different elements to being a woman and yes you are a mom but it does make you feel better every now and again when you do put on a bit of eyeliner you do put on a bit of lipstick and you sure. remember you are still sexy you're in between totally. all of the mommyhood it's just such an, a, a question that I don't know, it doesn't sit very well with me where you don't ever see men getting interviewed and yes. men never ask, like, get asked, oh, tell me about your transition from bad boy to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody so ever true. asks that question. <laughs> but it is different for a woman to juggle all of it. So how do you think you've handled your amazing, amazing career that people see you as the strong businesswoman and then you've allowed your softer side almost to come through on social media? Where do you draw that balance? Jeans, it's, it's been something quite interesting and, I, and I'm trying to maintain the balance because I think for me, firstly, I'm probably one of the mommy bloggers or one of the only ones who doesn't show pictures of her children. I've tried to yeah. consciously keep my husband and my children's faces out of the media. Yeah. But of course, as a mom, you want to share a picture of your child with a crazy porridge episode that they're having or, you exactly. know, you, you want to show these these sort of mom pictures, you know. Yeah. Um, but I, I think I've, I've made a very um, conscious decision to make a business out of Modern Mommy, and I'm in the process now of, of evolving with my, my blog. And there's lots of other interesting strategies that I'm working on with various partners that are coming in. So I realize now that because women are having children later on in life compared to when our parents had babies, I mean, they practically <laughs> met, they had Way babies later. at... Yeah, <laughs> they, they had babies at 20 or 21. Mm. Now we're having babies later on in life, which means you do have a career. You've got more disposable income, for example, and you travel more with children now. So there is a market that I'm now trying to, to dominate, I would hope, eventually. <laughs> but yes, that is the idea with Modern Mommy, is growing it into a community of women who have children but who are more than just moms. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I love, you know, you get quite creative with your kids when yes. you do post a picture of them, but there's always something covering their face <laughs> or it's always the back of them. But isn't it, I mean, in, in some countries, it's illegal, actually, to post pictures of your yes. children yes. Be, until they're old enough to make that decision themselves. Yes. yes, I think because, unfortunately, I mean, I've I've been subjected to some people on social media who would say very nasty things, and I always think... I don't want people to be able to use my children and to publicly comment on them. Um, so it is, you, you do want to protect them as much as you can. And I think for me, yes, it, there are some creative shots that one can do. So we've been having lots of fun. I've, I've now we've got a, a, an official photographer now starting with Modern Mommy as well. Amazing. And yes, there's a million ways to actually take very cute pictures without showing faces. So yeah. Oh, I absolutely love that. Your children are absolutely gorgeous. So now, what else are you up to? I mean, you've got Modern Mommy. You sit on boards of companies, TV. I mean, what what are you doing at the moment? <laughs> well, um, it's it's been amazing. We actually, I've, I've signed with an international airline um, as their face. So I'm doing more traveling now. Um, so that's been fun. And then also travel with the children. Because I think as well, that's an important thing, is that yeah. being a mom doesn't mean that you have to be confined to being at home. I actually appreciate it so much much when I had a, a little bit of a debate on my blog about breastfeeding in public and thank you so much <laughs> jeans actually stood up for moms thank you very very yes. much um, so doing some things with with um, modern mommy as well in terms of that working with UNICEF um, doing lots of amazing things with UNICEF um, and and for me it's just been important to try and 
coordinate business and motherhood. Sure. And again, it's amazing. You'll find opportunity where you least expect, you know, and I love the saying that opportunity dances with those already on the dance floor. Mm. I've got on my mommy dancing shoes and I'm enjoying <laughs> all the journeys and all the wonderful collaborations that are coming about. Totally. So yeah, I, I sit on the boards of, of various companies and um, I sit on the board of a big media company. And for me, it's been interesting as well because media is going through such a transformation. It's such a wonderful, exciting time to, to work with, with a company that I do. Um, so yes, I'm having lots of fun. You certainly are such a, an inspiration to so many people. What would you say is the difference for you between respect and fame? That's a very good question. Um, I know, I, I'm I, full of them. <laughs> you, no, no, that's, that's why you do this, you know, you've got this. Um, I think for me, respect and fame, there's, it, it is actually, it's, it's a definition or, or a distinction that people sometimes forget to make. Um, you can be famous, you can be infamous, but there's, at, at which point, who do, you, who do you want to have their autograph and who do you want to do business with? There's, a, there's yeah. a big difference between that as well. And I think sometimes people also forget that show business, there's two different elements, there's show and business. So I'm trying to push the business element of it more because, um, yeah, I think it's, it's an important thing that you establish yourself as somebody who is to be respected mm. and somebody who's actually a formidable force that you want to work with and you want to collaborate with. So the difference between fame and respect, yes. Um, would you do business with Kim Kardashian? Maybe you'd do business with her business advisor. With her momager. With her momager, <laughs> but it's, um, yeah, would you, there, there are distinctions and um, I hope that I fall into the bracket that that's the person that you, the brand that you want to be exactly. associated with. Shame, I met this young girl the other day and she was, she wanted me to mentor her and she started this conversation mm -hmm. and said, well, I'm studying to, st to, to become a radio DJ. And I thought, How, what do they teach you? Yes, like, yes. So what advice would you give to young women mm -hmm. who want to follow in your footsteps? You know, Jeans, it's actually such a relevant point that you raise because there's a lot of people who are opportunistic and who prey on the yeah. hunger of young people who want to, for example, be in the media industry. Exactly. It's, it's true. I see all these. There's, um, there, there are a few reputable schools, and then there's a lot of people who say they're going to teach you to, to yeah. work in the media I'll industry. I'll teach you to be a TV star. <laughs> yes, I'll teach you. you it's, it's like, come on. You exactly. Know? So for me, it's very important that people also invest in their own education, but not just in a formal way, but that they also spend time researching which are the areas that they want to go into. And um, for me, yes, I went to university, but mm. university sometimes is about the networking and about learning how to, to articulate yeah. your ideas, as opposed to if you're going to study dentistry, you're gonna become a dentist. Exactly. You know, it's, 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 to me, the way that one studies doesn't necessarily mean if you study that, you're going to become that no, for the rest of your it's life. It's like an MBA. The, the biggest part of being an, of doing an MBA is the people that you're going to meet exactly. studying with you. Exactly. exactly. And um, for me, it was interesting as well now when you speak about mentorship and mentees. Um, I've actually now decided, because I like you, we, we get these mails, people asking, how do you get into the industry? And now when I ask, when they say they want to meet me and they want to find out how to work in the industry, I make them do a task first because I want to see oh, how clever. committed they are sure. to actually wanting to learn. And then based on the quality of their presentation, I go, okay, fine, we can meet for 45 minutes <laughs> and you need to tell me what the action points are that you want after the meeting. Sure. So Joanne Strauss <laughs> cracking the whip with all the mentees. <laughs> no, this is the thing, is that you don't, it's, it's not about let's drink coffee and get to know. Exactly. And I don't want a fan moment. If you're exactly. interested in a business idea, Present it to me and I'll tell you if it's possible to get funding or not. Joe, so good having you Aww. on our couch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So much Thanks, love. Jeans. Now, in an era of throwaway fame and attention grabbing antics, class acts like Joanne remind us that true success is definitely hard earned and invaluable. Much like Five Roses is committed to bringing you a range of superior tasting and refreshing teas while equally maintaining their heritage of quality blends. This month, stand a chance to win a fabulous Five Roses gift pack containing an assortment of their delicious teas. To stand a chance to win, simply SMS the keyword Five Roses, your name and city, to 33728. SMSs are charged at one round fifty each, and T's and C's do apply. So visit our website, afternoonexpress.co.za for details. Join us again this time next week when we will be chatting to yet another exceptional South African woman. And until then, remember that nobody makes better tea than you and Five Roses.